Wow, this is already off to an interesting start, eh? So I've been off for, um, probably for obvious reasons, so, or maybe not, I don't really know. Anyway, my husband, um, kind of, sort of, caught, you know, COVID, he kind of, sort of caught COVID, and then, obviously, we didn't know at the time that he had it, I was, like, nursing him back to health or whatever obviously I got sick because I was directly exposed then he had to help nurse me back to health once he started getting better because as soon as he started getting better I started getting really sick um and I actually got a really high fever scary fever um it hit 103 and was not going down um so we were like hey let's uh try a bunch of these at-home medicines to see if you know, we can bring your fever down because it's kind of getting dangerous because we didn't want it, you know, to go over 104 because you can experience, like, organ damage and death once your fever gets super high. Um, so that night was scary, but my fever did come down. <clears throat> but then he kind of noticed, like, hey, it sounds like your cough is getting, like, really deep, like it's getting deeper. I think we should get that checked out. Um, so it the infection was moving deeper, but they got me on Paxlovid, like, just in time, because one of my main risk factors is I have chronic asthma and chronic bronchitis, so it's kind of, it was really scary, um, but thankfully, I didn't have to go to the hospital in the end, I was able to recover at home, but I was just doing very poorly for, like, a week and a half, um, and even now, I'm still recovering, <sighs> I get tired more easily, so I have to take more breaks and can't do as many things in, like, a row, and I, um, developed laryngitis literally the same week that everything else seemed like it was improving. I still have these, like, back-to-back -back coughing spells. It's terrible, but <sighs> I don't remember which profile I was playing on last time. Let's just, let's see, but yeah, I, I kind of sound like the crypt keeper or something i'm still very hoarse <sighs> technically i think i still have laryngitis but it's better than before because before like literally i would open my mouth and try to talk and just no sound came out it was really scary because you know if you get permanent damage to your vocal cords it can like fuck up your voice for life so that was scary but My voice did come back, which was the important thing. But yeah, I don't remember what the hell we were doing in this dungeon. It has been way too long since I've been able to stream. Because before I got sick, I was just doing Stardew Valley nonstop. I have no idea what the hell we were doing. Yeah, this is going to be fun. We're just picking up in the middle of a mission. I don't know what we were doing. Besides, like, obviously fulfilling some kind of quest. But I don't really know beyond that. <clears throat> God, I hope my voice isn't too annoying, but I can't, I don't know why, but they said that, like, trying to, like, whisper is actually worse than just talking normal. They said it puts more strain. I don't know why, but they said it did, so, unfortunately, I can't just whisper my way out of this. <coughs> Sorry about that, I had to mute myself. Ugh. Oh, we got a nice level up too. Cool. It's also really weird because even though I'm like tired as fuck all the time now, um, I have to be more active because apparently 
having that specific illness raises your risk of um, blood clots. So I have to like get up and walk around like every hour now. It's really annoying. But hey, I'm whole, I'm healthy, I'm well, not any less sane than before. <laughs> I don't think anyone's truly sane. Everyone's on varying levels of not sane um, in this economy. <laughs> And based on the state of the world, I don't think anyone's truly sane. But um, everyone's just different degrees deep in their insanities, I guess. But anyway. <clears throat> I survived, which is the important thing. Yay. I mean, I would have preferred not to get sick at all, but I survived, so... And I didn't have to be hospitalized, so I don't really think there's a ton I can complain about, rightfully. Just saying. I'll wait. I feel like one of those high school teachers, where they're like waiting for everyone to shut up, and they're like, I'll wait. <laughs> it always felt so obnoxious, but also... <laughs> It was literally feeling that so hard. You can, but I can't swear as to my ability to fulfill it. Also, yes, I'm aware I sound like utter garbage, but... I'm kind of still recovering from COVID-induced laryngitis, so I'm probably going to sound like shit forever. Not like literally forever, but just like for weeks or months on end, I'm probably going to sound like shit. So I do apologize about that, but I can't. <coughs> Excuse me. What'd you say? Voice rest. Okay. Would you prefer I play silently or do you want me to just get off and come back a different day? being real real question there we go mm. I know but I didn't think anyone liked totally silent streams Okay, so we have three um, missions left. 22, 25, 28. God, this is gonna suck. You're, you're right. You're not wrong. I just... I'd already been away for so long, and I just don't know how I'm supposed to entertain people if I can't talk. Which sounds stupid, but, like, of course people watch streams to be entertained, even if you're not a big-time streamer. Okay. I'll try. I do feel bad for all the people who are like, well, can you whisper? Like, no, apparently that makes it worse. It, like, strains it more, which is stupid. Sounds counterintuitive, but whatever. <laughs> Why do I have all these items? <laughs> really? I miss you too, Magic Cat. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Yeah, I'm gonna sound like death for the next little bit, though. I just wanna, oh, it's money, okay.
your phone broke and you lost your account. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Why am I already tired? God, COVID fatigue is such ass. I've been here for 10 minutes. Hold on. Magic Hat wants the Discord. I'm coming. Give me one second. <clears throat> Sorry, everybody who's just kind of watching my character just sit. Hold on. I gotta make sure we're still friended. There we go. You missed me more than your family. I don't know how to feel about that. Okay. I believe that's our client. I am sorry, I'm usually more talkative. Voila! I assume that's you? I guess, yeah. <sighs> and it doesn't really help that COVID's such an asshole, too. <sighs> like... Why in the world? Oh, I always hate these rooms. Get me out. Aw, thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, ideally, ideally people get to rest when they're sick. Oh, that's where she's stuck. What is she doing? Why is she going off on her own? Ah, shit. Oh, that is not fair. That is not, that's no, that's not fair. <laughs> it's totally a legal move in the game, but that just did not feel fair. Blessed images. Aw, yes. You are sad. I mean, you can go ahead and tell me. I might not be as um, reactive as usual just because I can't talk as much, but feel free to tell me. I'm still here.
Like, please, y'all, feel free to talk. I just can't respond as much. Yeah, I don't know how the Pokemon do that. And, like, real people just... Ooh. Oh, a Nullify Orb became an Apple. I don't know how to feel about that. Shockingly, they didn't need help. Surprised your parrot isn't more scared of cats? I guess, yeah, that would make more sense. Ah, oh, fuck. Don't die. Oh, shockingly, she didn't die. Well, that's, that's good for us, I guess. How is your puppy, by the way? Nice. She got a little bit of revenge. Wait, that's the wrong way, right? Yes, okay. I assume you mean you didn't take care of the parrot as a baby. Hmm. <laughs> He's. So who raised? <coughs> who raised him? Nice. I have a feeling that that other thing is a monster house, because it sure as shit is in a shop. And how has college been for you? That should have started recently, correct? Well, I don't really know, because it's a different country, but... I love how you said he was lonely. He had no lover. <laughs> I don't know why. I just love that wording. I knew it. This at least takes us out of the line of fire for the other one. It's not, hmm, how do I put it? It's not a boss fight, but it's not a regular fight. I 
I love that they gave him to you so that he could have a girlfriend and she's not interested. Your schedule isn't much, so you talk to your friends on Discord. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know how animals act with age gaps, actually. Then again, even with humans, some people just... It's not their thing. <laughs> hmm. Only one college friend. Well, that's okay. It hasn't been that long. Let me start typing some answers because my throat's hurting a little bit. Not the roll call orb. <sighs> hmm. Wait a minute. It may take her a while to tolerate him. I always love hearing about her antics. Dude.
I love that they're kind of like secondary to an extent. Bless. Ew, imagine how gross it is to bite a Grimer. Girlie really took one for the team. <clears throat> I guess he's just protective. Really? Do I actually have a roll call orb that wasn't turned into an owl? <laughs> nope cool that's fun have you heard any scary stories recently <clears throat> unfortunately I'm not quite at liberty to read one for you if I had the voice I totally would but I have to keep my talking to a minimum. Oh, I could honestly probably look for six sentence horror stories. Or, I think there are six word ones too, actually. Yeah, I can't read anything as good and long as the Cemetery Shadow Dancer. I wish I could go back to reading stories, but that's going to have to wait until my voice heals more. <sighs> Rip. Let me just Google this. I love how there's nothing really here, but we're just like staying for the items. Are you in the dark right now? I hope you're in the dark right now. This article says it has, quote, 25 terrifying short scary stories told in six words. He 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 he. You can't handle the dark, your paranoia would be high. And you said, no, you're not in the dark. Oh, that's unfortunate. It would have been nice to scare you slightly. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. But listen, these are only six words long. So the first one says, <laughs> hungrily eating her child, she wept. Sounds like some kind of zombie thing, except the zombie remains like sapient, so they're horrified by what they did. She asked you to bring water and you're ready for something to jump at you. LOL. I love how number two says, attention all passengers, please remain calm. <laughs> okay then. Such beautiful eyes. I kept them. Okay, number three is definitely creepier than the second one. What would make you crap your pants? Tell me. I'm skipping number four. Number five says, I screamed. My reflection watched, smiling. I'm not reading number six, because that one just sounds like pervy. <laughs> number seven is, my teddy bear has grown teeth. Not gonna lie, number seven's gonna haunt me. Still waiting for Magic Hat to tell me what would make them crap their pants. In their words, quote unquote. <clears throat> you said, uh, let's see, just going to get water, and suddenly you see a shadow of something sitting in the corner looking away. Absolutely not. <clears throat> Absolutely not. They're trying to mimic um, Charlotte <laughs> Tilbury. <laughs> Absolutely not. Because that's how you disappear and or get cursed. Or just straight up die. I guess I should say that's how you get kidnapped, cursed, or murdered. I mean, I guess you could end up with a general haunting instead. I have a mission, the last mission request on this floor, then we can go. You'd have a heart attack if you heard something.
Mm. What are the most, like, haunted places where you live? Like, just in general in your country? Or what sort of places get abandoned over there? Last one, there we go. Your cousins went to an abandoned house with a sad story and you don't remember it, but luckily you didn't go with them. <laughs> I know y'all think I'm kidding sometimes, but for real, I just would not want to, I wouldn't want to go to one of those places. On the other hand, if I did go, I'd probably be there and just end up protecting everyone else. We got a lot of treasure chests, if I remember correctly. How long do y'all think I should stream? Because I can either stream for one hour, or I can try to stream for two. And if I streamed for two, I would be taking a break after one to, like walk around for a few minutes and like rest my voice for a few minutes you said you're you said if you're coming with me I need to protect you because you're probably a target yikes why are you a target just because you're so easily scared what do you want to name the slowpoke You made that shit up, didn't you? I'm still gonna use it, but you definitely made that up. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I'm just like, you made that up. You definitely made that up. <laughs> Let's give the Krabby. Krabby is literally just a cute crab. What would you like to name Krabby, if anything? Mr. Crab, <laughs> Mr. Krabs, okay. Is that Mr. Krabs, the space? <laughs> does this put a space? It does, okay.
There we go. Oh, there's another one. I forgot I had shared happiness. I'm gonna name it Goop. Nice. I honestly forgot what rank was supposed to be above this. And what do you do when you rank out? Like, what do you do with that? Yeah, no. What do you do? <laughs> what do you do with that? Also, I love the little emote you used. You said you would target the assholes and the scaredy cats if you were a ghost or a demon. Well then. Sweet rewards this time. I mean, I wouldn't want you to get eaten or possessed or something, so I guess I have to protect you. Of course, according to you, I cause spirits emotional damage all the time, so you'd be perfectly safe as long as I'm there to yell at them and insult them. <laughs> That's a joke. Please don't yell at and insult the, uh... <laughs> Please don't yell out and insult the spirits. <clears throat> I think I might do Animal Crossing next time. Because I know it's been a while. I love how they send that after we already did everything. Whatever. You're jealous that you can't see spirits. Dude, I don't think you want to. Because I know you said you're like mom and brother and everyone can. <clears throat> I don't think you're cut out for it. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. You said except you, but you're the one getting messed with. What, are you having more spirit troubles? Ugh. Wow, we earned almost 20k. Nice. <clears throat>
What do you mean, no savvy? Let's see. Nothing over six. seeing shadows sometimes I forget how weird you are no offense just I mean I'm weird too so <laughs> I guess that's fair you're used to not being alone is what it boils down to There we go. You said that's why we're friends. Nice. Alright, I have no idea what mission we should do next. Maybe something small. Hold on. Okay, let's see. Do we have we have one apple? Let's take out two. Or what I wait. Regular apples. My bad. I don't know why I was on the big apple. I love how you're still stuck on that. You're like, we're going, right? I'm like, mmm, I don't know. I don't know, because, like, I don't want you to get, like, like I said, like, <laughs> kidnapped by a spirit or, like, curse or something. Do you even care? I, dude, I literally just want six. Bad controller. <laughs> That's, hold on, that's not what I, oh fuck me, hold on. I literally just wanted to go back, but it wanted to be difficult. I 
I need a little bit more room in our bag. Just a little bit. Let's see. I don't know. I just feel like I don't know. You said you're the stupid one that would get dragged into a haunted place because friends said, bro, please, it would be fun. I mean, I don't even know why we have this. Let's get rid of it. <clears throat> Just because I know we can do it quickly. You're not stupid, but you would absolutely get pulled into this and like eaten or something without some kind of like protective friend. I think that if I do a second hour, I'm going to need to take a 20 minute break and I need to make some honey water for myself. Wait a minute. What's the mission even? Oh, come on. There we go. That should be close enough together. You said you don't like letting people down. Mm -mm. I think there's technically only two floors to this dungeon to begin with, right? The amount of time you dropped your work to help a friend with work and had full English team work. 
Hmm. I think you need to take better care of yourself. Friend, friend. already asked you what your favorite horror movie was I don't know we've talked so many times about like spooky stuff I don't even remember mm, I feel like I don't know I, w I wouldn't even be able to say honestly what mine was but Wait, why do we have three for Mount Steel? Let's get these out of the way. I don't even know why we have Mount Steel missions. This is like baby shit, but it's whatever. Oh, food, okay. Yeah, this is what I mean, they just one shot something. There's an item way up there. I think it was three mission requests here. What are we doing? Five, seven, and eight. And it looks like it's a bunch of people asking for help. Cool. I, however, want this item that's all the way up there first. So we're going to do that. <gasps> you like the... With Pennywise, you like the it... Aww. I don't know why I said ah. <laughs> <laughs> there might be something wrong with me. Shockingly, I've never actually watched. I probably should. I mean, I've seen clips. I feel like everyone's seen clips. You know, the little... What is it called when it's on YouTube? The shorts. Or if you've been on... Was TikTok even around when the original movie came out? It's such a new phenomenon. I don't, I don't remember. 
I don't think there's... Yeah, it's not going to let me do anything. I don't have an item for throwing, do I? No, I don't. Okay, I'll just let my partner take care of this thing. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually watched the full movie. That being said, I do like Pennywise. I think they're cool. Questionable dietary choices aside. <laughs> I think one of my favorite horror movie pro an excuse me, antagonist <laughs> has to be um, Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. I don't know why. Not that horror movie antagonists are intended to be wholesome, but for some reason he just seems like the most wholesome one. Which makes no sense because they're all murderers, but you know. <laughs> it's just the vibes. I don't know how to explain it. I guess it's like how bread is still bread, but different types of bread have different vibes. <laughs> this is probably made no sense whatsoever. If you're wondering, it is in fact my nap time and mayhaps I need to sleep. <laughs> oh, I love Lilo and Stitch too. My husband um, actually dressed up as Stitch a few years ago. And I dressed up as Lilo. It was really cute. It was before the whole pandemic happened. <laughs> like, way before. That might have been some 2016 shit. 2017. I think my favorite alien from those movies has to be Puliglio. though. I don't know why, it's just, I don't know. I feel a connection to Puliglio. <laughs> oh, we're already hungry. Okay. I didn't realize, my bad. So because you said you like Lilo and Stitch, do you just tend to like Disney movies or is it more of like you like alien movies? Your favorite Christmas movie is The Grinch. <clears throat> What's your favorite movie involving aliens that, that isn't Lilo and Stitch? Because obviously Lilo and Stitch involves aliens. Also, I would have to say one of my favorite movies for, like, winter holidays is definitely, um, God, The Tangerine Bear was a childhood classic. Um, one of the ones that left an impact on me when I was younger was definitely Annabelle's Wish. It's not my favorite, but it definitely left an impact on me. I think one of the most fun Christmas series, because I don't actually celebrate Christmas, but when I was younger, like, my mom did, and we had a bunch of Christmas movies. One of the ones that was really entertaining was the, um, that Santa Claus movie, where they call it the Santa Claus, and basically the dude accidentally killed the, the um, previous Santa, and he has to, like, become Santa or whatever, because he... Try it on the coat and put on the hat or something like that. Oh, I asked you what your favorite alien movie was. That is not Lilo and Stitch, because obviously that's an alien movie, but like...
Okay. I don't know why, but I honestly thought you were going to say something like E.T. I guess Lilo and Stitch just has a dual purpose for you, though. Favorite cartoon movie and favorite alien movie, I guess. Oh, crap. That rapid ash is bad news. I think we have to go to floor eight. Not a big fan of alien or zombie movies. I don't like watching zombie apocalypse stuff either. I don't know why some people are so into it. I just can't get into it. You hate based on a true horror story movies. <laughs> oh, what's wrong, magic cat? You don't want to get consume nightmare fuel? Sorry. Do we even need this? Not really. Black magic stuff. <laughs> Don't tell me you're afraid of witches. Which one did they make you watch just out of curiosity? Also, I need to take a break. But you should tell me about it before I go on break. I need to rest my voice for like 20 minutes and I'm going to go for a walk. You said you and your favorite cousin dipped out of there and pretended you were tired and slept together. Y'all were so scared you couldn't sleep alone. Jeez Louise. You don't remember the name. Well, what was it about? I love that you're such a scaredy cat. It's really funny, though. Ooh. 
So, slightly related, but have you ever watched Jumanji? I feel like it's something that definitely would have been classed as a horror movie if it wasn't considered a kid's movie, but, you know. <laughs> I mean, the thought of being stuck in a board game is horrifying, at least to me. Not to mention the fact that the game technically tries to kill you. Cool, we took like 15 minutes. <coughs> Excuse me, let me mute myself. Interesting. I kind of want to see that movie. A lot. <laughs> a Turkish movie or series about a family of witches killing people they didn't like <laughs> with spells. Excellent. That sounds really interesting. <clears throat> I do want to know if they had a valid reason for cursing these people to death or if it was just like petty shit. I'm okay. Okay. We have been sitting for a while. We need a break. You felt like if you read and kept watching it, you'd be cursed. Interesting. Why were you so convinced you'd be cursed? <laughs> Throw away. Oh, I don't know why I thought we were already here. <coughs> Hold on. Okay, explain things then. I must have missed something.
Genghis Khan. No, Genghis Khan. No, Genghis Khan. There we go. <sighs> really? The weird lighting of what? The movie? Or slash TV show? You left and watched Roblox. I guess I just... I don't know. I know you scare easily. I'm just trying to figure out why you're so scared about that particular thing. But, eh. I mean, was it that bad? I wonder if there's any way for me to see the series. I guess it depends on what it is, honestly. I love how I'm over here excited about it and you're like, no, it's scary. Jeez Louise. <clears throat> Witches don't scare you if you're not the target. <laughs> so you'd only be afraid of a witch if a witch was trying to curse you personally. It's funny. <clears throat> oh, my bad. I hit the button twice. That's not what I... Okay, whatever. <laughs> it is pretty funny. I mean, I guess it's also just practicality, but I don't know. Why do you think I don't trust Dad's mother? You think that your grandmother, or, well, the person who should be your grandmother, you think that she's secretly an evil witch that wants to curse you to death? Her past is known for witch shit. Explain? Also, I was supposed to be taking a break, but then we got into the drama about witches, so. And you're the daughter of a lady she doesn't like. <laughs> that doesn't mean she's going to curse you. Or even that she can curse you. 
Yeah, no. Risking it. Well, you said that um, in your culture there's magic you can do against someone just knowing their name, right? So, by that logic, she would have already cursed you if she wanted to, right? Your granny said not to trust her, so you're not trusting her. Honestly, I feel like you'd have to worry more about her poisoning you than cursing you, but yeah. If she's so shady, your other grandmother warned you, then you should probably watch out. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I'm back. I don't just want to have a coughing fit in your ear. Mom side of the family is afraid that she would have turned you against your mother. Hmm. Maybe, who knows? She gave you a shirt and you got rid of it. What, are you afraid that the shirt is cursed or poisoned? Genuine question, did that shirt have weird vibes? Or you did this purely based on advice? I'm not saying you were wrong, I'm just curious of if the shirt had rancid vibes or not. Cause you basically said that she has rancid vibes. <laughs> She said not to wear it, so you cleaned a floor with it. Emotional damage. I think we have a revive all orb.
because that's more useful than having to use three separate seeds and shit, you know? You were just a kid that had a favorite granny. LOL. You're like, I didn't think about it that deep. Plus, Granny had protectors. I wonder if her familiar spirits told her that there's something wrong with the other grandmother figure or the shirt. <coughs> said you trust what she says I guess that makes sense eight twelve thirteen sixteen seventeen Okay. Will you be here in like 10 or 20 minutes? Your other, your other granny is a red flag. <laughs> no, she's a mountain of red flags in a trench coat. I'm not quite sure. Is the of course an answer to me asking if you'd be here? Or is it about your grandma being a... What did I even say? A mountain of red flags in a trench coat. There we go. Oh, they're way far away. Never mind. I'm never going to be able to hit them from there. I might as well focus on filling our belly. Really? Before you got accepted into college, your granny came to visit you in a dream. You asked your mom what it meant. Turned out it was her telling you to get good news. Aww.
then a couple of days later you got accepted into college. Heck yeah. Oh, sorry, I was stretching. <sighs> I forgot that since I'm using this team member, I actually do have a distance move. Have you had that happen before where one of your relatives is there to give you good news? I love that they just conveniently leave money all over the floor. I wish people did that in real life, but sadly they usually hold on to it better. You said it was nice. You couldn't see her face because you kind of forgot what she looks like, but you have a picture. Well, at least you can always look back and refresh your memory. I do find it so wild that you just, I guess hate's kind of a strong word, but you just have like no faith or trust in your paternal grandmother. I believe you. It sounds like your mother's mother cared for you a lot. And again, I am sorry that I sound like the Crypt Keeper, but I can't really help it. <laughs> At least Mystery Dungeon is one of those games where something's constantly happening, so if you're watching, you can't really get bored because they're always doing something but I do feel bad that I can't talk like normal. Also, I hate Geo Pebbles, so I just left that shit. What do you mean you were spoiled? Oh, hello. Ow. I feel like they could have told me that without blasting my ear. Thank you, Twitch Studio. 
definitely don't need my eardrums anymore. Did all of y'all just come in and say mudkip? Bless. We've been blessed by the mudkips. The owl, though, because it screamed in my it's not your fault, but it screamed in my ear when you raided, so. Also, yes, hi, I sound like ass right now. <laughs> I still have laryngitis, so. That's fun. <clears throat> Do I not have anything? Wait a minute. Oh, here we go. There we go. Dilemma solved. Oh, those are the geo pebbles, right? I gave those up. Okay. You used to enjoy pomegranate juice with her. Okay, but pomegranate juice? People sleep on that all the time, I swear. It's actually way better than people think. What is that? The emo what what creature is that in the little emo? The little dancing one. I can't tell what it is. Eh, it's okay. It'll come back. No, I wasn't sure what it was. <laughs> I'm sorry, I probably just committed blasphemy, but I wasn't sure what they were. Or what it was. Your son. I'm sorry. I meant no disrespect. Let me live. He's committed. <laughs> He's committed tax fraud. That sounds like a typical American pastime, if you ask me. You wouldn't believe the number of people that casually, and also accidentally, commit tax fraud. I never have, but you'd be surprised how common it is. I was just shocked. I think there's an income threshold anyway. I don't know. For real, they don't care if you made a mistake or not either. <laughs> the only thing you can do is keep these really anal records of everything. Just be like super strict about keeping proof of everything so that if they ask, you can point to it. And be like, here's the thing, I'm not a liar. <laughs> I'm innocent. Exactly, you're innocent. At least I hope you're innocent. <laughs> That's how they got Al Capone. <sighs> Bro shouldn't have been on all that. M ah, wow, I can't talk today. Bro shouldn't have been doing all that money laundering. <laughs> they caught on. Innocent until proven fraud, they say. <laughs> the sad thing is, it doesn't even matter. the sheer lack of people that actually read the date and just go by the sniff test it doesn't matter who created it because we are completely doing them a disservice by never actually using the system <laughs> you're supposed to read the tiny numbers and adhere to them but what do most of us do sniff it eyeball it <laughs> Sometimes those dates are wrong, too. I don't know how many times I've, like, had milk, and it's like, this is sus. <laughs> Just, like, two seconds later. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, what are you supposed to do? Not eat it on principle? I mean, it passed the sniff test. It's clearly not rancid. What do you think? Should we let him tag along? He's kind of a loser. Sure, why not? We can take him out later, it's fine. <clears throat> okay, but did you hear about that one family that they... Oh god, what was it? Was it pasta salad? Yeah, they decided to eat some really sus pasta salad and like half of them died. Terrible. Yeah, word to the wise. Please never eat or drink something that's kind of sus. Especially if it has milk in it. I like my guts being in one place, thank you. I may actually need to go grab that link. Yes! <sighs> this is why I care so much about food safety. It's creepy and scary. Hold on. Let me find it. Brew covered it on his channel. Yeah. So at first, because it sounds fake, right? It sounds super fake, but it's not. You said your guts are already bad. You're not chancing bad milk. For real, though. Okay, this is annoying. Why is it why is it defying me in such a way? <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. Yeah, the brew video death by pasta, but also How do I Ah, here we go. That there article is from, I already forgot where it's from, <laughs> from the National Library of Medicine, if you're curious. There's an entire case report. Hello. There we go. That's the YouTube video where I originally saw it, but there's also a case report that I linked. What is that? Oh, I kind of forgot I left that there. My bad. Where did this Corellia come from? I swear it came out of nowhere. Oh. I'll kick them off later. It's fine. Money. Money. I don't think there's anything left. I'm trying to think of the most sus thing I've ever eaten. I honestly can't think of it because I I just don't eat sus food. <laughs> I'm always afraid I'm going to get severe food poisoning and, like, die or something. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there was also that case. This granny was eating raw cookie dough. And I know everyone gets tired of hearing, like, don't eat that, you'll get salmonella. But, like, she actually did. <laughs> I don't remember why, but something, something brittle bones or something. Like, it made her bones brittle. I don't know, it was a wild ride. I think it was a chubby emu video, actually. You wanted to get a Polish book. So have you still not gotten any Amazon yet? Oh. Is it bad that I never think about stuff like that? I never have to worry about if Amazon will ship to my country. <laughs> I'm so sorry that happened to you. I don't know. I don't know. Do I even need this yet? I don't even need this yet. I usually wouldn't care. How about this? Wait, we're in Solar Cave. Mm -hmm. I never use stun seeds, I'll just swap those out. I think they're equally good Pokemon. I don't have a preference. To be honest, I haven't really raised uh, that many of either, so. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever actually had a Polytope. Wait, what'd you say? What are you looking at? Magic Hat? I think I missed whatever you said you were looking at. Let's see. Oh, thank you. And I hope your next one goes well, too. Yeah, have a good weekend. Oh, also, can I say before you go that I love your screen name? A hunger trap? Ugh. Gross. I hate hunger traps. Well, that's fixed. Ugh. Why? Why would? Why must he do this to me? It took you a while to come up with it. Hmm. That makes sense. At least you got one of the decent ones. I don't know how many times I've been on a website and someone was like, I tried to use my name for this other website and then they put it in wrong and then they're stuck with a misspelling of their name. <laughs> ah, love those stories. Yeah, I think... It I think the last time I saw that, it was specifically on Crunchyroll. And apparently that's one of the websites where you can't change it. Or, like, they said they couldn't change it. So, they're just stuck like that. I feel like I would give up and make a new account. Not gonna lie. <laughs> just make a new account. Fuck that. <laughs> I'd be so embarrassed. Sixteen and seventeen is what we have left. Okay. There we go. Warp wand. Mm. 
really think we have room for that. Focus Blast. Mm. He really just socked him in the face. We love to see it. Sorry, I let off an extra attack. I was trying to read something. Let's see. The book I wanted to get is fifteen ninety nine at the moment, but the shipping... <laughs> oh, God. The shipping costs more than the book. How is that fair? The shipping is twenty one fifty four. Ouch. I... I don't believe I have. So that's definitely something I would want to look into. To satisfy curiosity, if nothing else. I do have a soft spot for voice attacks, though. I don't really use them extensively, I just... I don't know. It's weird to say that they're aesthetically pleasing when they're sound-based and not sight-based, but, well, they're aesthetically pleasing. You said you prefer to get the Dobby body pillow at that point. Fair. For anyone who's unaware, Magic Cat has been wanting to get a Dobby body pillow. From my hero, not the elf. <laughs> she also wants a Hawks one. But alas, shipping is evil. <laughs> if I remember correctly, this happened with like a plushie or a hoodie or something too. Like she wanted to get a How to Train Your Dragon like toothless plushie or something. I think it was like the plushy. I don't remember the exact price. I just know that it was also cheaper than the price to ship it. No. <laughs> I mean, if she likes the elf too, then I have no clue. But no, we're talking about the, the dude. The fire dude. Nice. Oof, that had to hurt. I feel like we're just stuck in the corner while they fist fight. <laughs> what, who leveled up? That felt so random. We have a toothless plush, it's very cute. Hmm. I mean, I believe you. Toothless, toothless himself is cute. But, yeah, apparently it's kind of hellish to get anything actually shipped to her.
it is kind of fucked up that certain countries have more like shipping privilege with others. We're still waiting. Oh, you sent it in the chat. <laughs> what the hell is on his shoulder? Yeah. I wonder who made this. He really is so pretty, though. You said you don't know, but they need to give you one. You want me to use hyper voice? On okay. Wait, what's on the floor? Yes, there's a client right there, but what's on the... Right, there's another asshole in the room. There we go. It's probably a Geopet bow. It's probably why it didn't. Yeah, ooh, and it's sticky too. Gross. The Hawks one is more tame, so you say. Share with the class. Share with the class. Oh, it's just a Rost Fairy. Well, I still need to see what those two other things are. Money, okay. Excellent. Come on. Ah. I think we have two missions left. Two mission requests. Oh, okay. Well, they've taken care of everything for us. Money and an apple. Okay, and what's... Over here. Client, right, money. See two monies. 
Yeah, but there's another item in the other room, too. There's not much she can do while confused, so she's just kind of stumbling around in circles. Oh, we did pick up everything in the room. Okay, we'll come back for you. Don't worry, client. We'll be back. I suppose it's technically not very professional, but eh. Oh, okay, that works. What is it? Snarl. Okay. Wait, did I really just... There we go. Why is the Hawks one so much more tame? I love that the Hawks has... <laughs> <laughs> so much more coverage. Meanwhile, the Dobby one is so freaking slutty for no reason. You said they know what you want. Wow. What gets me is they would probably sell stuff like this, like, within Universe. You know what I mean? Like, I bet in Universe, there actually are Hawk's body pillows, and it's probably a problem. <laughs> I literally just made this up on the spot. Don't judge me. <laughs> this is the special one. Yeah. Um, oh, nice. I meant to name it, but I didn't, I accidentally hit no, so rip. I can't. No, you're not wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna name you Oatmeal because it's the first word I thought of. <laughs> it's like, no, you're not wrong, but dang.
I wonder if we'll ever get to the next rank. <laughs> You're comfortable with me. I'm touched. Oh my god, there's an actual mudkip here. Okay, but when will we reach the next rank? We're so close. <laughs> Ugly cries. If you had to pick one, I actually don't, I've probably asked you this a bajillion times, but I kind of just want to see, like, if your answer changes. If you had to pick between Dobby and Hawks, who would you pick? <laughs> I have a feeling you would pick Dobby, but I'm just asking. Because <laughs> you said you like it when people are mean for some reason. <laughs> We'll send on Discord. Okay. Oh my god. Because I didn't think... I didn't think you'd be okay with that. <laughs> uh, I mean... I understand the, um, I understand being like, why not have two husbands thing? I just didn't think you'd be okay with having both of them as your boyfriend, husband, whatever. How much did we earn? Okay. 7,700. That's not bad. Hopefully we still make a... Mm -hmm. I'll have to come back for the... R ah! What the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? Okay. I love how you said fictional characters is fine, but you're not sharing your BF. That's perfectly okay. <laughs> I 
I love how my message just went through. You could ignore it because it's basically what I already said. Nice. Oh, I meant to hit sell, my bad. You said one is enough to be mean to you. Oh my god. Wow, I'm speechless. Shook. <laughs> Do we even need to take anything out? I'm trying to see if there's anything else we need to take out, but I don't think there is, actually. I think we're, like, good. And you said you have to ask him to be mean, otherwise he isn't- Wow. That's good though, right? It's, it's good that he's not just mean to you at random. Although you might actually like that, considering how you are. What? I'm teasing you. Although it may not sound like it because of my voice. I am in fact teasing you. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off today. Because I don't know if you can tell, but I am actually getting worse. <sighs> that was fun though that was ah fucking hell that was nice tomorrow I might do animal crossing we'll see I hate when it randomly scrolls so I just put it on wonder mail cause that's safe you said despite you enjoying mean shit you're really soft and sensitive you're just all gooey on the inside, eh? So I have Spirit Fur, which I haven't played. I have Harvest... Is it Harvestella or Harvestel? I don't remember. I haven't played that. I have Bravely Default 2, which I have not played yet either. So there's three games I haven't played yet. Um, or I could put in Animal Crossing. Or I could do this again. <clears throat> just to kind of like break it up. Before we go back to what we were doing. Um, I think Let's Go Eevee is on something, too. I think that's on my husband's Switch, though. I guess I could play Let's Go Eevee tomorrow. Um, or Animal Crossing. I don't know. I'll let Magic Cat pick. <coughs> Excuse me, let me mute myself again. What do you think, Magic Cat? Another day of Mystery Dungeon. Um, Animal Crossing, or, um, Let's Go Eevee. Uh, 
Let's go Eevee. Okay, then I'll play Let's Go Eevee tomorrow. But yeah, I'll see you um, on stream tomorrow. But I'll like, we could keep chatting on Discord about, um, let's see, what were we talking about last? Oh, right, Dobby Hawks. <laughs> of course we were. Of course, the first time I used my voice on stream in like a week and a half, and that's what we talk about. Okay, anyway, I'll see you tomorrow, and I'll play Let's Go Eevee. Bye. I, yeah, alright. Bye.